It's hard to believe, but in just two weeks and two days, we'll know who's moving into the White House next January. Michelle and I only get a eight-year lease on the White House. You know, we rent, we don't own. We're told the actual move only takes about five hours, although President Obama joked this week that preparations are already underway. Right now, we're making sure we haven't broken anything, that Bo and Sonny haven't ruined any carpets. You know, we, we had been marking off how tall Malia and Sasha were getting on the wall, but now we got to race it because we want our security deposit back. Everyone's hoping that the transition goes well. George H.W. Bush left behind a very gracious note for Bill Clinton after a hard-fought race that read in part, your success is now our country's success, and I am rooting hard for you. Some Clinton White House staffers were less charitable when George H.W.'s son, George W. Bush, moved in, stealing the W's off his keyboards. Of course, even if Trump loses, no matter how he handles it... It's rigged like you've never seen before. He says he still might spend time in his new Trump hotel, just a few blocks away from the White House on Pennsylvania Avenue. So if I don't get there one way, I'm going to get to Pennsylvania Avenue another.